In this video, I'm gonna show you combination of two applications you can use on your PC for getting better performance and FPS while you're gaming on your any PC or laptop. So guys, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, please subscribe, drop a like on this video and without wasting any time, let's dive straight into it. So guys, in the very first step, we are going to refresh all the files of our windows. So for that, press windows R together from your keyboard and simply type here temp and press enter. Now guys, you need to delete all the files available in the folder, so for that, press Ctrl A from your keyboard. Right click here, go for delete and delete all these files from here. After that, close out this window. Again, press Windows R together from your keyboard, but now this time type here Prefetch and press enter. Now guys, again, delete all the available files and folder from this Prefetch directory and that will refresh all your Windows files. So guys, now the next step, you need to download these files on your PC and you can download it from my Discord server, link available down in the description of this video. Simply join my Discord server, after that go for download tab and there you will find the Park and Toll and MS Afterburner under this Razer Cortex application. So once you download this application on your PC and on the very first step, you need to install the Park Control on your PC, simply double tap and install this application. After installation here, you will find that this kind of the interface of the Park Control, so you need to go for your CPU settings for power profile. Click on the drop down and select out the Bitsum High Performance Power Plane. After that, go for this Efficiency Core and click on the Make Activate and apply this Power Plane. If you have a PC, so you need to go for Plug in AC, but if you have a laptop, so you need to go on Battery DC. So guys, here I have a PC, so I will set the settings, set the parking or off, frequency scaling, turn it off and set it on the 100%. After that, go for heterogeneous policy, set it on the hetero parking, short thread, set it on the preferred performance processes, long thread, also set it on the preferred performance processes. After that, if you have a laptop, so also apply the settings and click on the apply button and apply all these changes. Now I need to go for Bitsum Dynamic Boost Enable, apply the settings and check mark on the spokes. Check mark on the show power plant settings notification and check mark on the power plant settings windows power option. After that hit ok and save the settings. Now you need to open up your windows profile settings so for that go for your windows search and search for power and open up power and sleep settings. Go for additional power settings and there you will find that bit some high performance power plan on your windows. Now you need to go for change plan settings. Go for turn off display and set it onto the never. After that click on the save button. Again open up power plan settings. Now go for change advanced power settings. Now you need to go for this hard disk option and set it on the zero. Now go for USB settings and set it onto the USB select and suspend the settings. Click expand and enable the settings on your windows. After that, hit apply, click OK and close out these settings. Now the next step, you need to download and install the MS Afterburner on your PC. You can also get it from my Discord server. Once you download and install this tool, here you will find out this kind of interface. Now we are going to optimize our GPU settings safely and this will not impact any damage on your GPU. So guys for that you need to go for the fan section, there you will find a temperature limit and you need to simply increase the slider onto the maximum available on your GPU into the MSA after burner. This will automatically directly increase the power limit of your GPU also and that will impact positively and help you to get better performance. So guys simply click on the apply button and apply these changes in the MSA after burner. After that, click onto the minimize button and this will minimize this in the system tray. Now in the next step, we are going to optimize services of a Windows. So guys, for that, right click on your taskbar and open up task manager. Now you need to go for service tab, open up service settings. Now press W from your keyboard, now scroll down and you will find this Windows update option. Right click here, go for the properties, simply go for the startup type and set it on the disable. After that, click on the stop button, this will stop the service. Then hit apply and click ok and close out the services on your windows. So guys that's it for this video, I hope you love it, please let me know the effect of this optimization on your PC in the comment section of my this video and I hope you love it, so please make sure to drop a like, subscribe to my channel and till the next video, peace out.